So one of the things I've been trying to do as I built my pond was keep things uh, low cost to no cost, as in free. Uh, that's been kind of hard. It, there are a lot of plants that are available for the pond that I, I, I really wanted to put in. Um, but, you know, going to a nursery, it, the cost can ramp up. Also, buying it on Amazon, it can be quite expensive. Uh, as I was driving to work one morning, I realized that I had a perfect uh, place to try and find some aquatic bog type plants, which was in my local ditch. As you can see, there are a variety of plants. This particular one that I'm pointing at right now is the one that I first put into the pond in 2021. I also collected this cactail, which I added to the pond. It's grown to be double in size. So right here is what the pond looked like in 2021 with this plant that I found, as well as the cactail uh, when I first dug it out of the ditch uh, last year. Fast forward to 2022, and as I walked, I noticed that I hadn't explored the ditch as far as I thought. Over here on this section, there's a whole other type of plant that I had never seen before, and it's quite beautiful. So I would love to have this flower from my pond, but first I have to do a little bit of research because I don't want to get arrested. So I did an internet search and found what I believe is this plant, a seed spring monkey flower. It appears the scientific name has changed to Erythrian guttata. Try saying that again. Seed spring monkey flower, Erythrian guttata. Okay, yeah, I totally butchered that name, I know. So I looked at the California Native Plant Society Calscape website and it said that the seep spring monkey flower can grow up to two to five feet and it's great for filtering water. So the next day I brought gloves and a shovel to work and a plastic bag. Just as I was about to begin digging, I noticed movement in the bushes. If you look closely where I have that circle on there, that is a garter snake, only I didn't know it at the time. Did I run when I saw that snake's head? Yes, I did. I may be brave enough to go dish diving, but I'm not going up against a rattler. Several deep breaths later, I calmed down and was able to think again. I went back and realized it was a garter snake and not venomous. So I found a place where there were no snakes and harvested a beautiful plant, which is now in my house, in my pond. Here it is. <laughs> 